He even changed his voice, as the one you'll see in the series, to be as close to the one fans hear when they think of the Kaer Morkan Witcher. I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Hi and welcome to Need to Know. We have less than a week until Christmas and there's one thing we care about – the Witcher TV series. But can you blame us, really? We loved playing Wild Hunt. I hope you did too. So let's geek out about the Netflix show we're gonna binge watch this winter. If you're here watching this, then you're probably pretty invested in the Witcher books or at least the gang series. I mean, who can resist Geralt of Rivia, superhuman slayer, dad figure overnight and clumsy romantic? Netflix for one cannot. The Witcher is the network's answer to Game of Thrones and many say it could easily surpass it, at least when it comes to fighting scenes. One thing's for sure, the hype is real. We we went behind the scenes and found out some truly remarkable things the cast and crew of the show are as invested in the production as us, fans of the game and books. Henry Cavill was born for this role. If you thought Superman fit him as a glove, check him in The Witcher. Before getting the part, the actor played Witcher 3 to the death. His words, not mine. Massive game fan, he then went on living his Geralt dream, doing almost all the stunts to get and stay in character. He even changed his voice, as the one you'll see in the series, to be as close to the one fans hear when they think of the Kaer Morkan Witcher. Cavill kept the British accent after listening to the audiobooks, but borrowed the gravely tone of the character in the game. In Witcher 3, Geralt uses signs as much as sword to slay monsters. In the TV series, though, you'll get more hand-to-hand -hand combat than magic. According to VFX team, the Witcher show is much more grounded horror than fantasy world. The TV adaptation is gonna surprise you with the amount of story every character gets. If you discover Ciri and Yennefer through Geralt in the books, the show will let both women play their own parts. All three stories are told in the same time and the viewer is left to see how they come together. That's not nearly as surprising as this fact. Geralt could have been Ciri. Well, no, let me rephrase. The Witcher show could have been told by Ciri. The first pitch showrunner Lauren Schmidt did for Netflix started with the events from Lady of the Lake. It's a chapter focused on Ciri and narrated by her. Thank God for Netflix intuition and Lauren's change of heart. Also, pay attention to Geralt's interactions. Word is, Schmidt cut half of Geralt's dialogue when she realized Cavill communicated more with less words. Don't judge me. As a witcher should. <clears throat> You could say Henry and Geralt were meant to be, but Lauren got the memo pretty late. Before auditions, Cavill insisted on being in the project, but Schmidt took her time. 207 actors later, she realized his voice kept coming to her when she pictured Geralt on the TV screen. Finally, he got the call, and the rest is, as they say, history. Pretty soon, Vladimir Fordik, the man you'll always remember as the Night King and veteran stuntman, realized he had struck gold. Cavill had the best fighting skills he had seen in a decade. With The Witcher, you're in for a smooth and complex choreography that only an experimented Witcher could excel at. It didn't come easy, though. Cavill practically slept with a sword in his hand. He practiced every day, stashing swords wherever he could. At one point, he had three at home and four at work. He brought the same intensity to his chats with Roach. I always thought it was funny how Geralt's horse was named after a common fish. Maybe it shows Roach is nothing special to anybody else but Geralt. Anyway, the showrunner let the actor choose his Roach and he bonded with the horse immediately, talking to them as he would with his dog Cal. We'll see how all of this translates to the screen, but guys, don't fret. Season 2 is confirmed, it's gonna air in 2021 and we'll get another 8 episodes then. And before you leave, I'll drop this bomb. Lauren Schmidt has 7, I mean 7 seasons mapped out. With a bit of luck, we'll go through the entire book series with Henry Cavill on board. After all, it's a show made after a book series, not just after the game. We've seen how those adaptations turn out. Geralt of Rifia? Naturally! How did it ever escape me? You must know, I'm a devoted fan. <laughs> Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. Need something from me? Indeed. A matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean-Louis Lotovic, has gone missing. Now, 
You shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Excited about The Witcher? What's something you hope to see or not to see in the TV series? And don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. See you guys!